Ghost Ship, the song, was written by Greg. Uh, he wrote it on an acoustic guitar. I can still kind of hear him playing it on the bed, and he came up with a vocal melody as well. He was just kind of sitting there strumming away and saying that, you know, the melody should be... Nah, 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 nah. So, so based on that, I put lyrics over top of it, and I wish I could say that the song was about someone or that it was um, really deep and meaningful, but really I just kind of came up with what I thought was half-decent poetry, and clearly, you know, the themes are about love and loss and whatnot. Um, I always like the song. It's not bad. It's not one of my favorites. But anyway, uh, regarding the video, I always had this idea of three separate places that I wanted to kind of stick together. Um, and, and they didn't seem to have a lot to do with each other, and yet they did, to me anyway, at least. The, the first was a laundromat in Elmer, Ontario, which kind of no longer exists. They moved it over, so in its, in its original form, um, it's not there anymore. But it was kind of the tedium of everyday life in kind of a place where no one wants to be, uh, but they're kind of forced to be there. So that was the first one. The second was the old apartment building, 520 Parkside Drive, where my wife and I used to live um, in Waterloo. Perhaps this is what made me think of laundry rooms too, um, or laundromats, was that the, the laundry room in the actual apartment building did have this really... Um, interesting painting of of ships at night but it, it no longer exists they, they took it down and they redid the laundry room but anyway so the original idea for the video was to set up like this still frame cam in the laundry room on that painting and then maybe it'd be a lip sync video but none of that felt right and so i was rather shocked to find out that as i was going around the the um hallways filming that there were two paintings or two pictures of, of ships on the wall anyway which I thought was kind of I mean that seems kind of cheesy but uh, but it was just happenstance and it, it worked really well I thought um, again just this idea of roaming hallways and um, I didn't even really notice the symbolism at the time it just kind of I just kind of wanted like endless hallways and endless corridors but if you really look there's exits everywhere right and yet the person never leaves so um, it, maybe it's heavy-handed to even point this out but at the time I didn't really kind of get that that you're kind of like in this endless labyrinth and you can never escape it and you're going around and around and around so that's that's the second part that ties it together and then if you go, I forget the road, but if you go northeast of London, um, you'll get to the small town of Thorndale, Ontario. And if you go just outside of the town, there was an abandoned house. And um, it really scared the shit out of me. It was just this really weird, old, creepy house. And yet I just had this idea that, you know, the haunting imagery of this empty, decrepit house with the song Go Ship um, would be really good. And so um, I got a couple of friends together because I didn't want to go there alone. <laughs> and I got a decent camera and I went around and I just filmed all of this footage within the house. And so then the idea was um, to splice all three of these together and that somehow that would be the narrative and that it would all make sense. Um, the other amazing thing about all of this is, you know, whenever I visit my cousins when I drive to Waterloo, of course I go through Thorndale and um, I look at the house, right? Uh, which has been there for years and years and years. And then finally, it's gone. It, um, clearly the people, they sold the land. Uh, they demolished the house. They demolished the garage that was next to it, or the silo, whatever barn it was. And, and so now it's just, it's just a field. And so, you know, even I'm left to kind of marvel at the fact that, you know, this is a song about uh, love and loss and, and emptiness and impermanence. And now basically two out of the three um, entities that were in this video, two of the three places, they, they don't even exist anymore. And they're just kind of gone only to exist in your imagination, I guess.